up guys I got a new video here today this video um, is resources to help with your comic book collecting now I am in no way affiliated in any of these things I'll be showing you today um, I just think they're cool things and they help me with my comic book collecting or comic book hunting when I'm out on a hunt so I just want to share these with you guys make hopefully a quick video hopefully it shouldn't be too long but alright let's get started first off I want to show you guys is key collector comics um, this is an applet that you can download on your phone. Um, so the owner's name is Nick, and he also has a YouTube channel. I didn't know he had a YouTube channel until I found it. Uh, what was it like last night or or whatnot? But he said, I asked him. I didn't. I had told him I didn't know that he had a YouTube channel. He said it's hard for him to get the word out. So I just want to get the word out to you guys. Let you guys know he has a uh, a YouTube channel. So go to subscribe to him if you guys can. I'll have all the links to these channels and stuff in the description portion of this video. So just click on them. You guys should be able to subscribe and everything else. All right, moving on. This Key Collector Comics is uh, such an awesome app. I mean. It, it makes it easy for you when you're out hunting for you to either type in the title or the character or it has a detailed search you can type in. Um, so, of course, the title search is pretty much self-explanatory. If you click on it, the stuff comes up in, um, it comes up in numerical slash alphabetical order. So, there you go. You got 100, 100 bullets first off. And it shows you what key is involved with 100 bullets. And then it goes so on and so forth all the way into um, alphabetical order. Um, so as you can see here, alphabetical order. Let's uh, click on Action Comics. All right, got 107 um, key issues there. So we'll click on that. The first one comes up, of course, Action Comics number one. It gives you description, um, uh, appearances and the average price of how much that they're worth so you see down at the bottom low is 155,000 which I wouldn't mind owning a low one um, and up to high is 2.8 million if you click on the picture of the book um, alright give it a second here so you click on the picture of the book it'll give more information on uh, when it was published written by and everything else a little more information and then if you want to see a bigger picture of the book just go ahead and click on the book and then, bam, there you go. You have a bigger picture of the books. That way you can see in more detail. So, like I said, it's pretty much self-explanatory with this app. It's pretty easy to use. Um, I'm not sure if you can download it on iPhone, but it is available for Android users. So, let's go back to the front page. I want to show you guys something on there. So, one cool thing that the app also has, at the bottom, it has... Um, um, different icons at the bottom Deadpool 2, Hotkeys, Dark Knight, Symbiotes so basically on those icons let's say take Deadpool 2 for for instance um, if you click on it it'll have every book that's associated to Deadpool anything that has anything to do with him <clears throat> so let's go to click on it and you see here you got X-Men Giant Size X-Men number one um, it gives you all the information on there and then if you scroll down you got all the other books that are associated somehow with Deadpool, like New Mutants '87, right? Um, you got your New Mutants '88, New Mutants '98. So everything, something associated with Deadpool will show up in there. So let's go back real quick to the home page. All right, going back. So if you click on Symbiotes, this has everything to do with any type of symbiote ever. So um, let's wait for this to load up load up give me one second okay so of course everybody knows Amazing Spider-Man 300 right everybody knows first full appearance of Venom so if you go down Fantastic Four number 360 first appearance of Dreadface a symbiote hatched from an egg I would have never ever even known that or even thought of that so scroll up and then so let's look at this Quasar number 30 first Venomized character on a, on a comic cover character does not appear in story Alter reality version of alien symbiote Thor. So let me um, <clears throat> let me make that picture bigger for you guys real quick. So like I said, this gives you so much more information while you're hunting to actually find this stuff out because I would have never known. So you see Thor on the right side, and they say he's not pictured in the book, but if you zoom in on him, right there, you got Thor on the right side. He's venomized, right? So that's the first venomized character. So like I said, I would have never, ever known that. But thanks to this app, it gives you all the information. 
So let's go back to the home page again. So like I said, it has all the information, and then there's uh, there's a profile at the bottom, um, the the search at the bottom also, and uh, there's this Facebook link up at the top. But like I said, uh, um, this app is really cool. If you find a key, or maybe there's a key that's not listed that you know of, you can email Nick, and uh, they actually get back, to your, or he actually gets back to you pretty quickly. I had emailed about something a long time ago that I thought was something they have, but they actually had it because I'm a dumb dumb and I didn't find it. But it was actually on there. So I mean, they're very responsive to to emails and everything else. So you guys download this app. Like I said, Key Collector Comics, and he also has a YouTube channel under the same thing. Like I said, I will have the link in my description area. All right, moving on. Next one is next one's a big one. This is CBSI. A few of the things I'm going to mention next are affiliated with CBSI. So um, right now while it's loading, let me give you a little bit of back, background. Um, so I started on CBSI a few years ago. Um, I, I would always lurk be in the background and find out so much information. Man, they fed me so much information that like it was crazy. I made a ton of money off of it. But um, the guys that are on it, like I can't say anything anything bad about those guys uh, they're really really cool dudes very easy to talk to I mean they're impressible defects podcast I'm pretty sure some of you listen to that but I listen to that like every week um, <clears throat> some sometimes I'll listen to it while I'm at work or if I miss most of it then of course then I just play it in my car while I'm driving back and forth to back and forth to work uh, for the rest of the weekend and uh, people must think I'm crazy because I'm always cracking up because the dudes freaking have me laughing like crazy. So there's four members. Um, Trey Kenya was the one who founded CBSI. Shout out to Trey. Shout out to Sean Leggett, Big Leg. Um, like Mel calls him, the Walking Yeti. Um, really cool dude. I've talked to him a lot of times. Um, very, very knowledgeable, just like Trey. Very, very knowledgeable guys. Um, and then you got Mel. Mel is the king of the pump. I won't won't say dump, but he, he knows how to hype up those comics, especially with those finger pop variants. Um, and then you got Koi. Koi is an Instagram mafia um, leader. Uh, he, he has his own Mas Poo crew. Um, those guys know who they are. I don't have to shout them out. But uh, shout out to all those guys. Really, really cool dudes. Like I said, very, very easy to talk to. I mean, they will take the time to talk to you and, and give you the knowledge that they have if you guys need to know anything. All right, moving on to the comic book speculation and investing site. Of course, uh, again, this is CBSI for short. They have so much information on here. So many knowledgeable guys that go on here, especially on the G Plus page. I won't go to the G Plus page because that's another whole on its own. That there, there's too many G Plus pages for me to go over. But anyways, um, the articles that these gentlemen write are phenomenal articles. I mean, they're full of thought. I mean, just just all the knowledge, and they actually uh, um, do the research. They really, really do the research when they're making these articles up. I mean, they're very, very full in depth. So you have <clears throat> other things. Of course, you have a search bar on there if you need to search. But they always have the Hot 10 Comics. Um, I think they update it every one to two weeks of the Hot 10 Comics that are selling right now. And then, like I said, they got really awesome articles. They got a variant heat check to tell you what variants are, are popping right now, which ones are starting to heat up and uh, uh, starting to command a lot of money. Um, you got checklists and, and stuff like that, weekly picks for, for comic books. Um, <clears throat> so, so there you go. Moving on to Segu to uh, weekly picks for comic books, there's somebody else that's affiliated with him is Simple Man's Comics. Um, <clears throat> he has a YouTube channel. And he also owns Civil Man's Comics. So, here on my YouTube. Uh, I thought I had it already in there, but give it a second to load up and I'll type in Civil Man's Comics. But, um, I thought I had it loaded, but I guess not. Alright, let's go on YouTube. Type in Civil Man's Comics. Okay, this is his YouTube channel right here, up at the top. And Brian Wood, Brian Wood, shout out to you, brother. I, I've talked to Brian several times on Hangouts. Really, really knowledgeable guy, just like the rest of the CBSI guys. Um, very, very nice guy. Um, all those guys from CBSI, I mean, if you ask them a question, they won't blow you off. They'll, they'll make the time to, to answer whatever questions you have. And so the great thing about Mr. Wood, Brian Wood, is he does this weekly picks for new comic books 
pretty much every week. I mean, sometimes s stuff gets, life gets in the way and he can't make one, but, but he pretty much has one out every week. He'll go through each hot book that he thinks is hot and plus what his pick of the week would be. And um, really, really cool, really, really cool article to have because, um, well, videos to watch because he his editing is like top notch. Like really, really awesome editing and uh, the, the way he sets up the books and everything else. So if you guys need help deciding on what you want for that week, this is definitely the guy to watch. Pull up his uh, YouTube channel. Again, I'll have his YouTube channel and in, in a link in the description. Um, moving on, um, something else to help um, segueing into that is um, Comic Collateral. Comic Collateral is another one that's affiliated with CBSI. Um, they came out with this app uh, a while ago. Um, I was supposed to have this on one of the first ones, but um, let's wait for it to load up. But uh, it it's a great app. Um, very easy to use. They have news and headlines, so the new media buzz that's coming out, buzzwords for, for certain things, and news feeds of what comic books are, or what people are talking about with comic books. Um, they got little icons at the bottom you can click on. <clears throat> so they, they got browse all comics. This one also does new releases and key issues, again, just like the comic, uh, uh, comic book collector. Oh, one thing about the comic Comic Collector Live is they've actually paired with a lot of people um, like um, Coffin Comics for Lady Death and Valiant. They they got a bunch of Valiant titles up on there now, so it's not all just the big two. Um, so they have all that stuff on there now too. Sorry. Now back to Comic Collateral. Uh, you can make put your own comic collection in there. Um, they also have an icon at the bottom where it says 9.8. They have grading and restoration, grading overview. It, it teaches you how to grade books. And um, there's also, I can't remember which one it is on, either in the, I think, the grading card. If you click on the grading card, this will um, tell you, well, that's a grading card they came out with, which is really cool. Um, I don't have one, but there was one on here where you can click in, let's say that you have a uh, spine stress here, and a tick here, and um, um, uh uh, you can input it in there and it'll give you a uh, sort of a grade on what by the stuff that you put in what grade that the comic book might grade at i mean i've been pressing and and pressing comic books for a long time so i can kind of distinguish what type of grades they'll get i mean from from um pressing and submitting books and seeing what they come back as so um my grading isn't too far off from what the i guess professionals grade as but um i always like a lot of customers I have when I press books, they always ask me, what do you think this will grade? And I'll give them about a roundabout number about what it, what it might grade at. And my uh, run is actually pretty good on that. So, like I said, so they got all these grading references. They got miscellaneous tools. Um, you can search on eBay, Google Trends, uh, local comic shops. It's another great one. They'll show you where the local comic shops are. And then uh, that's pretty much it. But Comic Collateral, very, very cool tool to use also. All right, last but not least, we're going into the last one I got here is um, Fresh Comics. Now, Fresh Comics is really awesome also. This, along with Brian Wood, will definitely help you decide on what you want to get for new releases for that week. Um, one other, what, well, like a few other things that I really like about this app is it'll show you what comic books are out that week. And it also shows you uh, all the publishers, uh, I think it's pretty much most of the publishers. So they got all the publishers on there. It's still loading up, guys. It'll give me a minute. So it has all the publishers on here. And then basically, you can click on whatever publisher you want. So let's click on Marvel. So this is the top one. So you click on Marvel, it'll show you what the uh, covers look like and, and the price if they know what the price is. So you see here the all new Wolverine 35. Uh, they got the picture. Plus the price is three ninety nine. So if you click on the all new Wolverine thirty five picture, it'll come up. It'll tell you all the the information about the comic book when it's published, blah blah blah, all the creators and everything, price, format, and it tells you the synopsis of the story. So if you're intrigued by it and you really like the cover, and there you go. You got the full size cover. You can take a look at also. So let's back on out from there. Um, so. 
I, I really like this app. And one other cool thing about it is, is that you don't have to do that week. You can go nine weeks ahead. So if you look here, you can go all the way to July 18th. So all the way to July 18th, um, wait for it to populate. But it has all the covers, the prices, and everything else all the way to July 18th. I mean, so like I said, if you want to look ahead to see what books you want to get and try and save money to work out with your local comic shop and say, hey, I want to buy this ahead of time, can you give me the discount? It'll give you all the information all the way nine weeks ahead. So like I said, if you want to save money, there's a chance to save a little bit of money. Hunt for Wolver, Claws of the Killer, that one looks like a pretty cool picture. The Immortal Hulk looks cool. So yeah, like I said, you have all the covers, you have all the prices. Really, really awesome. Also about this app is um, it'll also put your favorite issues and your shopping list in there. has upcoming local events, um, which is really cool. It also shows you a map with the next hundred conventions. So right before I click on where the conventions are, I want to show you here. If you look up here, this also shows you the nearest comic books to you, or comic book stores to you. The nearest one is Atomic Comics. We don't have Atomic Comics anymore, so that's out of business, but I guess Google still pulls it up. But it'll show you all the ones in your area. Store 22 stores within 50 miles of from where I'm at. So that's really cool too. It'll show you where, where all the stores are at. But like I said, go down to the lower one uh, with the next 100 conventions that are showing up. Like I said, at the bottom it says next is Wizard World, May 17th to 20th. Let, let's click on that map. So we'll click on the map and it'll load up and it'll give you a calendar. Um, on the calendar, it'll have dates highlighted on there. If it'll load up sometime. Okay, it has all the dates highlighted on there. And it'll tell you what the convention is and where it is and how far away it is from you. So let's jump ahead one month. So let's go to June. Let's say June 8th, for example. So June 8th has two, two conventions during that time on June 8th, which is Wizard World Columbus and Sci-Fi Valley Con. So Wizard World is in Columbus, Ohio, and Sci-Fi Valley Con is in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Um, Columbus is 1,600 miles away from me, and uh, Pennsylvania is 1,900 miles away from me. So it'll get, let you know how far away it is. So if you want to plan ahead for a convention, this thing will let you plan months in ahead because you can just click on whichever one is high, uh, uh, whichever highlight one you want, and it'll tell you what convention and where it's at. Florida Supercon, 1,900 miles away, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, July 12th to 15th. That is what I really like about this app also, besides it showing you what comic books are coming out. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, uh, shout out to all those people I shouted out. I really appreciate all these apps, everything, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed putting it together, even though my camera's been screwing up. I need, new, I, I need a new camera. But like I said, all the links to, to um, the YouTube pages or um, web pages will be in the description. And again, I thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, thank you. Later. Peace.